So in this video, I'm going to talk to you and share with you what I consider to be one of the most important moves in the body when it comes to ball striking. If you want to hit your shots from the fairway with your irons like the best players in the world do, taking those perfect divots with that compression, you need to be making this movement. This is what I call the sink move. And it's talking about how golfers go from being too steep to shallower. And you, if you're struggling with your game, you may well be going from shallow and then trying to steepen at the last minute. Let's explain what that means, then we'll go through the two drills that are gonna help you. We know that when we hit irons, we want the club to be traveling downwards into the ball. We want a descending blow, negative attack, divot after the ball. That's how we strike the ball well. But when we look at lots of the amateurs who struggle, they get to the top of their backswing and they make a movement where either the head goes up or it will go back which is a shallowing move. And as soon as they make that movement of up or back, what they've effectively done is created an impact which is too shallow. What they then do in their latter part of the downs is they try to rectify that. They try and hit down by forcing the hands down, forcing the club down, and we get these almost really uncomfortable looking movements. So if you've ever felt that, you've kind of felt like through impact, it's all very kind of, disjointed and jerky and doesn't feel great, it's probably because you're shallowing too early and then trying to add the steepness. The best players do it completely the other way around. Now for this little demonstration, I'm gonna make this probably far more exaggerated, but what great players do is they will get to the top and they will make a movement in their early downswing. I did say it was exaggerated where they create an impact now, which is too steep. What I've done means that club golf could be going too much down into the ground. So what do they do? They take that move, which is too steep, and they start to move up and away from the ground, which takes some of the steepness out. They move shallower, but they eventually end up at this perfect delivery where the club is traveling down, they get this beautiful strike. That's how we do it. The sink move is this move here, this early transition move where the golfer is sinking into their lead side. If you think about this logically, it has to happen. If I take an address to this golf ball and put a circle round my body that the golf ball would move on, that circle rests on the ground. But when the best players hit the ball, their circle is forwards this way and underground. So how do we get that circle to go forwards and underground? Well, we have to move our body forwards and we have to lower our body. It's just logic, you know, if that circle has to move from where it is at set up to where it is at impact, it has to go forward and down. The body therefore has to make this sinking movement. So here's the first little drill I want you to do, and this is a great way for you to just feel the correct delivery and movement through the ball. You're gonna take an address, lead hand on the golf club, let the club rest on the ground, and you're going to basically take your lead shoulder, your lead hip and your lead knee, and you're going to sink down into your lead side. Notice they have got lower and they're moving forwards. Now what would happen now if I literally just move the club back and through is the club would start to collide with the ground. That's what we want. So this little exercise is we let the club collide with the ground and we move up to our finish. Let the club collide with the ground and move up towards our finish. Look how easy it is for me to take a divot in the right place after the ball. That was not conscious. I didn't try and think about hitting the ground later. It's simply because I took my body from its starting condition, I moved it into this position, and now suddenly my club wants to land in the right place. But notice how my body has to move up and out the way for me to keep my arm nice and straight. Because if I didn't move up and out the way, the club's either gonna go too steep or I'm gonna start doing it this way, that's no good. So this little exercise is learning how to take this body position, which creates this very, very steep approach, and then we use a little bit of body turn to move out the way and shallow it. That's what the best players are doing, they're extending their body. So that first little exercise is great. It's really gonna help you just get your head around where the body should be and what you should be doing through impact to take some of that steepness out. So how do we actually integrate that into the goal sink? Well, think about it this way. If I was to get to the top of my swing, I should be pretty balanced. I feel very balanced. I don't feel like I'm favoring one side or the other. But if I was to take the weight away from my left foot, what would happen? 
I'd fall. Pretty clearly, if I took my left foot and lifted it, I would fall. But watch what happens to my lead shoulder, lead hip as I do that. That's pretty much the move we want. That's that sinking move that we see the best players in the world do. Now, I guarantee whenever I do a video on this, I'm gonna get some comments that say, Chris, your head is moving down, it's moving forwards. Fine, that's what the best players do. Maybe not with a driver, we see a little bit of a different movement, but you look at the best players in the world, might not be quite as much as what I'm demonstrating in this video, but from the top of their goal their head will move forwards and down. Not as much as their legs move forward and down, but this sort of sink into this lead side where they're starting to compress the body is what we see in the best players. Guarantee you, if you're struggling, there's a very good chance your head will be going back or it will be going up. The opposite is therefore a great feeling for you. So up to the top, sink into that lead side. How do you do that? Well, exactly as you demonstrated there, you take pressure away from that left foot as you get to the top. So your next little exercise is just to rehearse that movement. No downswing, just rehearse the movement. We go back and we sink. We go back and we sink. And it feels very much as if I'm starting to pressurize this lead leg. Great feeling for you, because what do we do with that pressure once it's built into that leg? Well, we use that to push ourselves up and out, which is adding that shallowness down at impact, because we've created the steepness in transition. We go steep and we shallow it. That's what the best players in the world do, and you are most likely trying to add steepness too late in your golf swing. So, once you've understood it, you've done a couple of rehearsals, stand over the ball, make some movements where you're exaggerating the feel, you're sinking into that lead side, and then it does require a little bit of timing, but if you can time it well, you should better get those strikes that we mentioned. That is not a flag I'm gonna go at, so I've gone out to the right of it. I don't think I've got enough club there, it's just short but the strike was great. Divot started exactly where I wanted after the ball, the flight was perfect, the compression was there, everything I wanted on that iron shot was where it needed to be. It wasn't a six, was it, it was a five. I needed to do my homework a little bit better. So the sink move, massively gonna help you with your ball striking, go through those stages, and you better hit some better shots than me if you can choose the right club as well.